This is just such a difficult issue. It's just so very challenging for me, and I have been <clears throat> for days, really, um, trying to sort this out through my mind. Um, there has been information uh, that we've been hearing about for weeks and months about, um, I guess, the final outcome that is before us today. <clears throat> I think one of the consequences of term limits is this uh, lack of mentorship as it relates to the institution and protecting the institution and honoring the institution and a colleague um, on the other side of the aisle talked about the importance of you know integrity and diligence and our responsibility to the institution and to this body. It was also said that if anyone came up and um, sort of opposed the process was because there was simply a lack of knowledge. You know what, I'll absolutely agree with that because I didn't serve on the committee, right? I wasn't there to hear what was presented. The first report that we got, the actual term sanitized was used. That we received a sanitized, condensed version of an investigation by the House Business Office. I want to know why there was an investigation by the Attorney General or possibly um, the Secretary of State. Um, We were given the 800-page report two days ago. I know many of my colleagues, and I'll admit to it, I haven't been able to read 800 pages in two days. But I'm being asked today to vote on this. I haven't been given the opportunity that the members on the committee were given to make a decision about doing something we don't do very often in this body that I think we all personally take very seriously. We know this is a big deal. But I don't have all of that knowledge. You know, I have questions about the process. Why was the committee not equally Republican and Democrat? Why was it stacked? Why couldn't it have been a bipartisan body that looked into this? It was mentioned earlier um, regarding another expulsion um, in the Senate. There were criminal charges and they took two months. This committee took two days. The third day was an organizational meeting. Two days. To me, there was a real lack of testimony, an opportunity for people to come forward who had knowledge. Um, we had testimony stricken from the record. Why? I think this issue is also much larger than the very narrow scope that was given to this committee, which was specifically about representatives, Courser and Gamrat's basically ability to serve. I, I really want to know about when the staff went to leadership and what they said and when they said it and what decisions were made. Were these staff whistleblowers? Aren't they protected under law, but yet they were fired? There is more to this than just what some here have described as bad behavior. True, I think there has been um, some information that's been admitted to in terms of misuse of state dollars. But I think this issue, the gravity of this issue, truly deserves to be looked at with a much broader scope and brighter light. It really saddens me that I, 
I just feel there seems to be a continuation of behavior that completely circumvents the democratic process. I believe we have a responsibility to the people of the state of Michigan to make sure that every aspect of this issue was brought to light, opened and discussed in a public hearing, that those who wanted to speak spoke, that there was subpoena power for those who might have been afraid to tell the truth were going to be forced to tell the truth. The people deserve that. They deserve that process, that due diligence, before we make a tremendous decision here today. I also believe we have a tremendous responsibility to the institution. And I think a two-day committee hearing, putting this vote on us today, is not respectful of the institution, nor is it respectful of us as representatives who are elected to make very import important decisions for the people they are elected to represent. How can I, in good conscience, make this decision today? I can't. And the first time in five years, I will be refusing to vote today. I refuse to give any validation to this process, to this lack of process. There may have been things that have been done wrong, but we need more time, I believe. We need more information from more people. And I hope that you will join me in refusing to vote today and to demand that we have a deeper investigation outside of the House Business Office, that we really look into exactly what happened, who did what, when, where, and why.